Last month, I went to South Carolina to visit Melissa and to babysit her fur babies while she and her husband got away for a couple days. Of course, no visit is complete without a ride on back of Melissa's Rogue Glide 3. Good morning, it's Melinda here and I just found out this morning that we are going to go for a bike ride today. The weather is going to be in the mid 70s, sunny and gorgeous and we are going to be traveling up to Blessing of the Bikes at Low Country Harley Davidson. It's a beautiful day, so we'll make a great day of it. Yes, Melinda said that she would go for a ride with me and I am really, really looking forward to this ride. Our destination today is going to be Low Country Harley Davidson. They have the Blessing of the Bikes event going on. I also understand that they have some of the new Road Glide 3s for 2024 in some of those magnificent colors. Going to go get suited up and get out on the road. While my brother-in-law performs the safety checks for us and Melissa makes sure things are bestowed properly, I suit up and put on the most important piece of protective gear, my helmet. I am actually starting to feel excited about today's ride. Six months, I am back on a motorcycle again. Time to sit back and enjoy snippets of the 90 minute ride to Charleston, South Carolina. I'll wait to see your golden smile, feel of a thousand kisses. Oh, please stay a while. I'll reach up to hold your. Feels like a handful of silk now I'm in your warm embrace Oh, I hope this feeling lasts Till the oceans turn to glass And the world around us turns and fades to black Arrive at the Low Country Harley Davidson and pull into the parking lot just as the event is winding down. But we have made it in time to meet some viewers of our channel. 
to meet some motorcycle riders Melissa knows and to be prayed over by the Christian Motorcyclist Association. Even after seeing it with my own eyes, I don't fully understand what a Blessing of the Bikes event is, so I am consulting Google. The Blessing of the Bikes is an annual tradition in which riders of motorcycles are blessed and prayers are offered for safety for the coming riding season. As I witness the prayers being made in Jesus' name for the safety and protection of Melissa and other motorcyclists, I am blessed and encouraged. James 5.16 says the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. As this man prays, I too add my prayer for safety for my sister as she rides her motorcycle this year. I walk away with a bigger sense of calm and assurance that Jesus is riding along with my sister in all her travels. Many towns hold their own annual ceremonies and dates vary according to location. This event here in Charleston is only for a few hours, but if you want to make a weekend of it, how about attending the weekend festival where Blessings of the Bikes is said to have been originated? The 52nd annual Blessing of the Bikes Festival is held this year on May 17th through 19th in Baldwin, Michigan. We head inside to see the 2024 Roguelide 3s, and Melissa meets up with event coordinators and the store manager. After chatting for a while, we are back on the bike and heading to lunch. While at lunch, I take the opportunity to ask Melissa more about the Christian Motorcyclist Association. As we get back on the motorcycle and head for home, I contemplate something Melissa shared with me about the Christian Motorcyclists Association. One Memorial Day weekend, she attended the Rolling Thunder event in Washington, D.C. It was extremely hot that day, and while they waited in the staging area for the event to start, the Christian Motorcyclists Association had a tent set up and were handing out towels, water, and snacks. They told her it is part of their mission to be there for motorcyclists. A gentleman gave her his business card and said, if you are ever stranded out on the road or need anything, call and someone will be there to help. I am impressed with this ministry, what they stand for and how they go about their ministry work. The members of the organization truly are the hands and feet of Jesus to the motorcycle community. Remember the Christian Motorcyclist Association if you find yourself stranded along the side of the road somewhere. These are the people you will want to call to come and help you. Hearts worth falling for Oh, and with open arms I'll carry yours Come, rain or shine I'll cover you up and calm the skies As long as you are mine And I'll be there when you need me You can count on it every time It won't always be easy Just as sure as the sun rolled in. We were up in at Low Country Harley Davidson for the busting of the bikes and then we stopped in and had some lunch at one of my favorite restaurants, First Watch. What did you think? It was a nice ride. I actually learned a trick this time as I took a podcast and listened as I, we drove along. It was very hard to hear part of it but you know getting to see the beautiful sky and the warm weather and listening to one of my podcasts as we drove along. It was a nice ride. And also walking into that showroom, I have never been into a Harley that shop that big and seeing all those bikes. I can see how people can be excited about being part of the Harley family. Still hasn't made me want to purchase one yet, but um, it was still fun. She said yes. Yeah. No, <laughs> probably never will happen. But you know what? Never say never. I really enjoyed getting to see some people that have watched our channel and we got to have our bikes 
prayed over by the Christian Motorcycle Association. That was really good. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed getting in to see Chris, who is working with the International Female Ride Day uh, uh, event that's going to come up in May. But I really, really enjoyed seeing the 2024 Road Glide 3s and especially that shark skin color. It is beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful blue gray. So I'm really glad I went up, we went up there today. It was well worth Great ride. First time we being back together to ride together in a while. And my first bike event at the Harley Davidson. Good. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you are alerted when that content comes out. Until next time, everybody. God bless and safe riding out there.